with this service is done right at your house on your schedule. You don't have to drag your bike anywhere. It's done in, depending on the job, you know, half an hour to two hours, depending on, on the level of work you require. All right, so today we are in Mission Creek Park with our friend Leaf. Thanks for uh, joining us today for a little chat. My pleasure. And so, Leaf, explain to us what we got behind here, and we're standing in front of your rig, and uh, tell us what it's all about here. So, this is a mobile bicycle repair shop. Uh, you can either call me, uh, send me an email, go online, have a website. You can contact me through that. Uh, we can book a service for a time that works for you, and I come right to your house or your place of work, or if you happen to be broken down on the side of the road you need some assistance and I'm available I'll come right to you that's yeah no yep. sorry go ahead yeah all the work is done right in the van right on the spot on your schedule you don't need to drag your bike down to a bike store and typical wait time in the spring when everybody's getting tune-ups is usually about two weeks ish uh, when things settle out it's about five days but you still got to bring your bike down wait for five days or thereabouts and then go back down and pick it up and bring it home with this service it's done right at your house on your schedule you don't have to drag your bike anywhere. It's done in, depending on the job, you know, half an hour to two hours, depending on, on the level of work you require. Awesome. And there's such a big, there's, there's such a big push towards biking and uh, transportation, like uh, alternate modes of transportation in Kelowna. So you're seeing a lot more bikers, you're seeing a lot more bike lanes coming out. So this is something that's uh, uh, wicked to see. Do you find that you get a lot of calls, um, spur of the moment stuff, like people are, oh shoot, I'm here and I'm broken down. Do you find you get a lot of calls like that? Yeah, uh, a great percentage of it is exactly that because they don't even a lot of people don't even think about their bike maintenance until something goes wrong right. and then they're trying to go for a ride and you know it's not shifting or I got a flat tire or boy the chain's so rusted because I haven't ridden it in two years and it's been sitting outside yeah. and so yeah a lot of it is sort of a last minute uh, type of deal for right most stuff yeah right on we're sitting out here in Mission Creek Park and uh all the pollen's flying everywhere on us here. You've got one on your head right now, and I probably have 10 on mine, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so um, another thing I want to mention, it says since 1988 on your on your trailer there, or on your rig there, so have you been working in this exact business since 1988, or have you been working on bikes in general since then? So I started out in elementary school touring with my dad and learned to work on bicycles as a natural essential when you're out on the road 100 miles from home, yeah. out in the woods or wherever you are. Uh, so I started then and uh, by mid high school I developed a really good reputation around town and I actually started a uh, pickup and delivery service. I would ride my bike to school every day and uh, a lot of students at school and community members and whatnot, they would bring their bike to school and I'd ride home on my bike with their bike in the other hand yeah. and uh, do the service and return it to them the next day. Then I, uh, you know, in high school as well I started designing and building various components, brake sets, handlebars, bar ends all kinds of little things. Right, so you, this is something that you've been into for a long time then. This isn't something that you've just recently took on. Exactly. It's like a lifelong passion for you. Yeah, uh, bicycles, uh, I'm ashamed to count how many bikes I have in my basement. Yeah. <laughs> like any bike junkie after Fair this enough. long. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I put myself through post-secondary school and kept my hand in it for a long time all along. And then just recently this spring, I decided to start a mobile service with the van where I come uh, right to your house or work or whatever you are. Awesome. So yeah. and you... Um, so no problem what type of bikes, road bikes, mountain bikes, doesn't matter, you've got the gamut covered. Yeah, the whole gamut all the way from e-bikes. If you've got a trike or, yeah. you know, like a big trike or a little kid's tricycle or whatever you've got and everything in between. Wicked. So. How do you keep so many things on hand in order to do that? I mean, how do you how do you find out what you need all the time? That's a huge challenge <laughs> because I don't have too many square feet. I haven't measured it, but, yeah. you know, it's probably 60 square feet of floor space. Uh, so I try to have a selection of the most common common stuff in the van. When somebody books, I try to uh, uh, get them to take pictures of whatever's wrong, give me the make and model of bike if they can, if they know, and that gives me some more uh, time to prep. I've got a stash of uh, stuff in a storage facility where, you know, okay, here's an unusual part that I don't use too much, so I don't drag it around with me every day, right. but you send a picture of your bike and a description, yeah. and I see, oh, you need that, so I'll yeah, bring okay. that with me. Perfect. Occasionally, you kind of get stuck and get surprised and you just have to put things on hold while I run back to the house and get the part or the storage
storage room or you know wherever I can find a part. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you might hear from me pretty soon because I got a couple bikes that need some maintenance. So uh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. You might see me calling. So just one more time, how can people get a hold of you uh, if they're looking to uh, get your services? Mm -hmm. So you can call me. Uh, phone number is two five zero eight five nine six zero seven zero. You can email me at leaf at sunvalleycyclerepair.com or you can go to my website at sunvalleycyclerepair.com. Perfect. Okay. So now because you're a bike guy, I'm going to ask you a bit of a, we usually ask, well, you can answer this too. Uh, really quickly, uh, one of your top places to go grab a bite of food and a bite of food in Kelowna. Uh, well, come summertime, I'm really looking forward to this. All the little fruit stands on yeah, the side right of the on. road. Good, Good healthy yeah, food. Yeah, it's all fresh. Good yeah. stuff. Okay, and if you were to, um, if you were to recommend a biking trail to somebody who's just visiting Kelowna or maybe wants to get out and about in Kelowna and hasn't done so on a bike yet, where would you recommend going for a good day ride? Well, there's uh, basically three that you can do. Mission Creek Park, right where we are. Yeah. Nice casual riding, uh, gravel, good gravel. If you go up to the other end, there's a, a bike uh, park with some jumps and bumps, if that's the kind yeah. of thing you like. Uh, we've got the new rail trail, and that's getting really popular. Yes. People riding all the way to Vernon. Yeah. There's lots of good scenery. It's, you know, uh, you get to see the Okanagan for what it is, riding past orchards and industrial and residential, you, you get to see it's it all. world class, the bike, the bike trail is world class, for sure, the rail trail. Awesome. Exactly, and then of course you can't uh, stop there, you gotta put in Myra Canyon as well, awesome. with the spectacular scenery. That's what, so, yeah, you betcha. Yeah. You can ride all the way down to Penticton from there. You can, yeah, and some people do exactly that. Uh, just on the weekend there, I was up there, and there was a cab full of people who had rented bikes, driven all the way in the cab up to Myra Canyon, and rode back down to Penticton. Perfect, yeah, so, that's a full day. Yeah, yeah, it was a full day, about 90 kilometers of riding. Yeah. Well, yeah. Leif, thanks a lot for joining us and uh, we really appreciate it. You're welcome. And Pleasure. I'm sure you're going to be super busy come the summer here with everyone out and about today. I'm looking at I'm looking at the trail here. We got people driving by, bikes driving by, and you're probably going to get a call right away. So yeah. We'll let you run here. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers.